So this is our newest segment. It is called Plot Hole. Wait for it. Assholes. And we are your assholes for tonight. This segment is all about taking a question that in no way deserves an answer. It doesn't need to be discussed. Especially could be a video one. game question. Yeah. could be comic book. could be movie this week. And this might become a series. We might do a lot of these yeah. type of plot holes. We want to talk about Superman. In general, just Superman. He's, he's an enigma, I would say. And what You brought up a question earlier this week. Because I was talking about, you saw the post, I guess, the one that I posted on Glickman's wall. Yes. Okay. So this is going to go a lot of places. It's going to go all over the place. But, but first, your first question that, that sprung this plot hole assholes in, in our chat this week, I want you to bring that up first. So Superman, obviously, is not from this earth. No. You know, and therefore, that is how it's explained that he has superhuman strength, because he's not really... An Earthling, he's you know Kryptonian, and he's from another planet, sure, and everything like that. But I mean, laws of science state that in order to be as strong as he is, he would have to possess stronger mass. I.e., yes, you can f force you know and everything like that. But if he is able to lift a plane or a train or a building or whatever he's lifting, he has to have said mass behind him in order to have that unit not crush him. So, with all that said, as he is portraying Clark, Clark Kent in his daily facade. How does he not crush things like Everything chairs, he's on, yes. Or like fall through okay. old buildings? This is an interesting question. Now, first off, I do agree that the science is correct here. Because Krypton, the original mythology mm -hmm. of how Superman got his powers, is that Krypton had a much stronger and gravitational field. Yeah, it's even now, if he weighed what we weighed on Krypton, mm -hmm. he would float away. Yeah. Because it, it, that's the Krypton is a much larger planet. Right. It, it, well, he wouldn't exactly float away, float away. He wouldn't be able to resist the gravitational forces. Right. He needs more mass, more density to survive on that planet. So right. when coming to our planet, it, let's say that Krypton is a thousand times bigger than Earth. That means he probably should weigh a thousand times more than a normal human. Now, what's interesting is every time I hear about Superman now in the movies and whatnot, like in the most recent one even, or the original Superman, Lois Lane asks him, you know, how tall are you? He says six foot two. How much do you weigh? About 225. So that's How, what's... Right, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't sense. make any sense. So that's a, a perfect plot hole. Now, Dean was vehemently arguing, oh, it doesn't have to make sense, it's Superman, this and that. Listen, I don't want to hear any of that. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Well, here's the thing. Right. Well, here's, a, here's the dumb answer to this question. The answer that immediately destroys this segment. Oh, he just controls it. Right, right, that's what, what he said. I was like, that's, a, that's, that's a, not the answer. That's a boring answer. But listen, he just controls it. That's, that's like saying, oh, here's what he controls. The one thing is like, oh, how does he open a door? Well, he controls his strength. He doesn't rip the door off. He doesn't crush it under his hand. He doesn't crush your hand when he shakes it. See, that's a different situation. That's a different though. entire, and I think that's what he took from it. But like, if he sat on this chair right now, the density that he would have to have in order to be able to hold up a whole train... Here's the thing. Maybe he's floating. Maybe he's subconsciously or always controlling his flying ability. And but, that's exactly but what I was I've thinking. I've got another part to go with this. Let's take Superman Returns, mm -hmm. where Superman dies, right? They right. bring him in the hospital. He's dead. Right. He's not controlling right. his man. But he, he, right. But, that, I mean, but he's that, on a gurney. Said, there's he's a on lot a gurney. of holes in Superman 4. He's on a gurney, so he should just freaking smash through that thing. He is not conscious. He is dead. So his mass, which is probably a thousand times more than a normal human, it should freaking go right through that thing. Speaking of thousand times that of a normal human. Yes. The original thing that actually got me thinking about all Superman stuff is an interesting uh, little fake science-y thing. Saying that Goku versus Superman, Goku would 100% due to science. This is going to upset Superman. a lot of people. It is going to kill a lot of people. And I'm okay, going to actually Why do you up. think Goku would win against I'm going to try to pick it up. Like I mean, I'm going to go a different place with yeah. this while you look this up. I also question I've, I'm you know I'm into physics and all that. I Absolutely. studied engineering. I've always been interested in the science behind the flight of Superman. Mm -hmm. How does he fly exactly? You know, we we in the newer mythology of Superman, we all know that he gets his power from the red, the yellow sun. Right. On his planet, the red sun was normal. Yellow sun, different frequencies, different waves, all that kind of stuff. For some reason, it gives him his power. But what does that have to do with him flying? What is he doing? Does he have a field around himself? Right, and that's of what's... anti-gravitational. Maybe, maybe he has like negative, negative energy or negative mass is what he's using to provide himself with control of, of his flight, because a lot of people think that his invulnerability comes from a shield around him. That's why his suit never gets penetrated, huh. but his his cape does. 
So maybe his cape is outside of this minuscule layer of a protective field. And that's, but he can also control that as like a zero gravity type thing. Never thought about that. Cause I mean, you're, you're right. He, I mean, he, he doesn't get affected by the gravity, but really that should just mean he can jump high. And that was the original <laughs> like, Superman. Right. And that's, that's all the he original plan. Yeah. Um, and when they first created him and everything like that back in action comics. Skydiver but. just said he can tr control his energy fields. So I guess they changed that at some so point. I see. I don't think he's saying this as like fact. He's no. just, I think that's just his, 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 uh, way of viewing Superman. And the Maybe. science behind it. I don't think there's any way to prove that one. Do you have any 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 discussion on this? No. She's like, I have nothing to She's like, I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> I really would like to eat. I would too. I haven't eaten in a while. Wow. Go ahead. I'm gonna Goku pull up versus this real Superman. Quick. So here's here's where this whole thing came from. So there's an infographic, Goku vs. Superman. Um, it has it says Superman peaks his lift around hundred tons. hundred okay. tons equals one hundred thousand kilograms, which equals two hundred forty billion 462,262 uh, pounds an average person can lift 40 percent of their weight okay an average person weighs 880 kilograms 40 percent that's of that. surprising only 40 percent of their weight that's, Which, that's not good no we're, we're just very weak <laughs> yeah um 40 percent of that is 32 uh, kilograms so therefore humans can not lift 32 kilograms uh, on I average. Need to go, eat go, go ahead go ahead go. we are going to talk superman yeah what are you we're going to keep or? talking superman no i'm not coming back because oh. i'm tired okay, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Good night, I guess. Have I'm a good sorry, night. Adam, I need to disappoint you. Everybody, no, say good night to Kristen. Good night. She's leaving for the night. She needs to eat. I will join you. The girl looks like, later. you know, when I start getting the negative comments about how I look bored, that's when it's my cue to leave. Okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I'm not that's trying. my cue. You guys are not boring. I just can't contribute, so I'm going to go eat. Okay. That's fine. Have fun. Cheers. Fogey's probably going to leave. Um, go ahead, Fogey. All right, so average human can lift 32 kilograms. Yeah. All right, so anyway. Um, 100,000 divided by 32 is 3125, meaning Superman can lift 3125 times the average man. Now, remember when Raditz scanned a human and his power level was 5. I do, because I watched this when I was younger. Now, uh, Superman's power level is 30,125 uh, 30, times 5, which then is 15,625. Less right? than Goku. Math makes sense. Goku, when training with Kai, King Kai, reached... 16,000 power level using Kaioken times 2. Hold on. When using Kaioken times 4, he reached around 40,000. Therefore, Goku wins. This, this all depends on the Superman we're talking about here, though. What, how much did you say Superman could lift in there? Uh, 100 tons or something? In certain Superman comics, he literally moves planets. So literally. it was uh, 32 kilograms times... Uh, 300, that is old Superman. That's like old Superman. If we're talking like new Superman, he moves planets. I don't know. He moves planets. The, the, okay. I don't like new Superman though. I know. I don't either. He's too powerful. I like, agree. With I, that. I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't. I've never sat in and I was like, oh, I love Superman. He's like, he's my like. I never. Look, I looked up to people like Peter Parker and the you know, heroes like that because yeah. Superman was too powerful. There was nothing stopping him. Yes. So, but anyway, that's what started this I, I, whole this thing. This is the, the flaw of Superman, is that, is that he's, you can't relate to him. No. Because he's, he's a god. No. He's a god. What I like is actually when they, make, when they bring up the Clark Kent thing, whereas, you know, every other superhero is hiding, you know, their identity, you know, yeah. who they really are to be the superhero, whereas Clark Kent is hiding, is, you know, hiding as Clark Kent, you know, he's yeah. hiding as somebody else. Here's a question. We were talking about this idea of his invulnerability and a lot of his powers coming from maybe this invisible field around him, but then it's like, how can people touch him? Does he control this field? Because let's talk about Man of Steel, you know, he's fighting Zod, they're punching each other. Right. Technically, if he has this field of energy around him should... that deflects bullets, yeah, but it's it should like deflect the same thing of like, you punches. know, whatever, yeah, but if you're holding up the this field or whatever yourself, the impact on that field is going to push you back your, itself as well. Th th there's so many physical things that are incorrect, not even just with Superman himself, but when he lifts things, why aren't they breaking? Technically, the amount of force that he puts into lifting a car, especially, let's say that something's falling. If something's falling at 9.8 meters per second squared, the acceleration of gravity, right. it's picking up enormous speed by the time it gets close to the ground. If he just grabs that thing the moment before it hits, the amount of force that he would have to put on counteracting the 9.8 meters per second squared and stopping that thing, it would rip it to shreds. Yep. It would rip it to shreds. Which is why I wanted to bring so up does this he topic. Have the, like... Does he control the moment of inertia? 
like on objects can he can he control the center of gravity on all things like what like i think we're getting to the point where we're losing a lot of people with all these things because there's a lot of here's a problem with superman in general there are a lot of plot holes yes there's a ton of them whether or not you love superman and he's your favorite superhero or whatever we're not you know saying anything about that but he has a lot of issues with his storyline and his creation yeah. and everything like that. And so many things have changed. And he's changed, exactly. Right. So many times that it just doesn't make any sense. So, realistically, sh- uh, Clark Kent should just crush every single thing he walks on. I agree. And he shouldn't even fly. I think it's a plot hole. It's 100% I think that hole. we don't have an answer to this because it is legitimately a plot hole. There Myth is no answer. Questioned. Myth questioned. Uh, you know what? I would love to have an answer to this. And if somebody knows the answer, please let us know. Yes. And also, since we have Batman versus Superman on the screen right now, the fight from Dark Knight Returns, yeah, I'm also did. very curious, who's going to win that battle, guys? Who do you think is going to win in Batman v Superman? Because uh, we all know Superman is uber powerful, and his only weakness is kryptonite. So do you think that Batman just uses kryptonite in this movie, or is there some other way to defeat Superman? I'm not really sure which route we're going to go in this yeah, movie. There's I a couple know. routes we could have gone. Are you going to be yes. bothered if it is kryptonite that... Beats you from no. Him. Okay. No, I'm okay with it. The problem I have is they didn't show almost any kryptonite in. That Man was Steel. a premeditated decision by Zack Snyder when he was okay. making Man right. of Steel. He said, he "No, said there is no kryptonite, kryptonite in my universe." Right. But not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, so he's like, "Hey, we want you to make Batman v Superman." He's like, "Oh shit." Yep. Guess I have to add a kryptonite. Damn it. <laughs> All right, guys. That was It's plot not hole. kryptonite. It's bliptonite. Yeah, he's going to change it somehow. Uh, that was Plot Hole Assholes for this week, guys. Thank yes. you so much for watching.